Well, hello and Merry Christmas to you. This year has been quite difficult for many people. I was reflecting in the last few weeks how coming out of COVID, I think most of us were hoping for a return to some sort of normality. And sadly, that's not been the case for our world. There have been wars and rumours of wars. The first major war in Europe since the end of the Second World War. And most of us are headed into a severe economic downturn, a crisis which makes people face need in ways which perhaps they haven't for over a generation. This could cause us to lose hope. That is, if our hope were founded on the things of the earth. But I want to encourage you this Christmas to remember the reason for the season, the birth of Jesus Christ, the Messiah and the Saviour of the world. Perhaps you are a Christian, but the things of the earth have got you down and you've become a little distracted. It happens to all of us. This festive season, I'd like to invite you to return your focus to Christ, who is the rock and the foundation of our faith, who promises never to leave us nor to abandon us, who is there with us through the storms and also through the joys of life whose light and life came into the world 2,000 years ago as a baby born in the manger. But he didn't stay an infant. He grew to be a man. And of course, he taught us how to relate to God, how to come back to our father as prodigal children. And then he died on the cross to take the punishment we deserve and rose again so that we too, if we believe in him, can inherit eternal life. It is the greatest gift of all, given to the world, not under a tree, but in the form of Jesus made man, God in human flesh. And if you're not a Christian and you're one of my many friends who is, as yet does not believe on Jesus for salvation, please don't tarry, don't waste your time. This year I'm mourning and I'm comforting people who are mourning more people who have passed away than I think than ever before at Christmas time. Life is so finite and so fragile and you may not have tomorrow. And I don't want to sound like I'm being emotionally manipulative, but the message of the Bible is clear. We have just this earthly life to choose Christ and live. If we wait until after we die, it's too late. So in this life, we can choose Jesus and his sacrifice and resurrection can pay the price for our sins and ensure us that the gate of death is a joyous one to enter into heaven. This Christmas, even though times may be tough, even though you may be feeling sad or lonely or bereaved. Remember the wonderful hope to which God has brought into this world, his only son. Many hundreds of years before Jesus was born, the prophet Isaiah was given a special vision of God, of the birth of this child. This prophecy, prophecy can only be fulfilled in Jesus of Nazareth, which I think is a supernatural proof and evidence of his godhood. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there will be no end, upon the throne of David and over his kingdom, to order it and establish it with judgment and justice from that time forward even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. I pray that for you and your family this Christmas, that the peace and love and joy of the Prince of Peace, born this day, would fill you with joy. This lovely Christmas, Merry Christmas to you and to your family and friends, and may God bless you and keep you now and always. Amen.